In coming days, we will see the greatest manifestations of the Savior's power that the world has ever seen. Between now and the time he returns with power and great glory, he will bestow countless privileges, blessings, and miracles upon the faithful. Nonetheless, we are presently living in what surely is a most complicated time in the history of the world. The complexities and challenges leave many people feeling overwhelmed and exhausted. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Dear brothers and sisters, I grieve for those who leave the church because they feel membership requires too much of them. They have not yet discovered that making and keeping covenants actually makes life easier. Each person who makes covenants in baptismal fonts, in temples, and keeps them has increased access to the power of Jesus Christ. Please ponder that stunning truth. The reward for keeping covenants with God is heavenly power, power that strengthens us to withstand our trials, temptations, and heartaches better. This power eases our way. Those who live the higher laws of Jesus Christ have access to his higher power. Thus, covenant keepers are entitled to a special kind of rest that comes to them through their covenantal relationship with God. Because Jesus Christ overcame this fallen world and because he atoned for each of us, you too can overcome this sin-saturated, self-centered, and often exhausting world. Because the Savior, through his infinite atonement, redeemed each of us from weakness, mistakes, and sin. And because he experienced every pain, worry, and burden you have ever had, then, as you truly repent and seek his help, you can rise above this present precarious world. You can overcome the spiritually and emotionally exhausting plagues of the world, including arrogance, pride, anger, immorality, hatred, greed, jealousy, and fear, Despite the distractions and distortions that swirl around us, you can find true rest, meaning relief and peace, even amid your most vexing problems. What does it mean to overcome the world? It means overcoming the temptation to care more about things of this world than the things of God. It means trusting the doctrines of Christ more than the philosophies of men. It means delighting in truth, denouncing deception, and becoming humble followers of Christ. It means choosing to refrain from anything that drives the spirit away. It means being willing to give away even our favorite sins. Now, overcoming the world certainly does not mean becoming perfect in this life, nor does it mean that your problems will magically evaporate, because they won't. And it does not mean that you won't still mistake, make mistakes. 
But overcoming the world does mean that your resistance to sin will increase. Your heart will soften as your faith in Jesus Christ increases. Overcoming the world means growing to love God and his beloved Son more than you love anyone or anything else.